for a new suitcase for your next trip and you are deciding between Manus and Kalpak, well, in this video, I will tell you all the differences in my experience with both suitcases, which one is lighter, which one is more durable, and which one I prefer. I know there is a ton of options out there and it's really hard to pick a suitcase that will be the one. There's so many things that you have to consider and I had both suitcases for quite some time now and I tested them thoroughly. So I'm excited to share with you my thoughts and hopefully it will make it easier for you to make a decision. First, let's start with the differences between these two suitcases and there's not a lot quite honestly. Both suitcases are made out of polycarbonate, which is a durable and very lightweight material. They both have telescopic handle and they both have four wheels that spin 360. The main difference between these suitcases is mostly in price and also the look. And they have different accessories that they came with and also they look different on the outside but also on the inside. So we're gonna go over all of that. But when it comes to pros and cons, I would say after testing both suitcases for quite some time now, I traveled a lot with them. I traveled to Hawaii, I traveled to Europe and also like domestic US. I traveled a ton and both suitcases hold up pretty well, but there is something which I wish I knew before I got my Colpac suitcase. And with the Colpac suitcase, unfortunately, it's, it's just not as high quality as I thought it would be. Wheels, even though technically you get like the same, you know, 360 spin wheels, they're not as high quality as on the mono suitcase. And a few times they locked up on me. And especially if I keep my laptop in my carry-on and it's a little heavier, it's actually very uncomfortable to roll. It's not as smooth as the monos. And the difference is pretty drastic. I gotta say, whenever I use the mono suitcase, it just, it's a lot easier to handle. It just, it rolls a lot more smoothly and it's so much better quality. The other thing is the telescopic handle. And again, Monos wins here. The telescopic handle on a Monos suitcase, it's a lot higher quality. It doesn't jiggle, there's no jitter, it's a lot more sturdy. So especially if you carry heavier items in your suitcase, you're gonna feel it a lot more. If you have barely anything in your suitcase, it's not gonna make that big of a difference. But if you have your laptop there, if you have some stuff that will make your suitcase heavier, it's gonna make a huge difference to have better wheels and to have better handle. And Monos is much better. Even though like it's so much more expensive and it was actually hard for me to justify the cost because I wasn't sure if the Monos suitcase, which I bought later, which I bought after I got my Colpac one, would be as high quality, but it is. And it's, it's really, it's really amazing. So not only the mono suitcase, I personally feel like it looks better. It's also a lot higher quality. The only thing which I've noticed with the mono suitcase is that it's not durable when it comes to weather. So if you're planning to keep your suitcase, for example, by the window, it may fade. So I would store it in some, you know, protective cover or just like keep it in your closet and you're gonna be fine. But if you're gonna keep it by the window, which I did for like, I think for two, three weeks, I kept it by the window and I have no UV protection from my window, like everything fades and my suitcase changed the color a little bit. Not the black one. I honestly, I don't see any difference. Like the paint on the on the black suitcase, is it's solid. It, it didn't change colors, but my beige suitcase from Monos, unfortunately, it's not as beigey it's more pink now i mean the difference is not that big but it is definitely like slightly visible like no one's gonna notice but i did notice it like if you are very like detail oriented you're gonna notice the difference so make sure to store your suitcase away from the sun because even though like it's technically waterproof like it's not uv proof so that's something I learned the hard way. It was a very expensive suitcase and it's slightly discolored because it's my fault. I didn't know that. I didn't think about it. So yeah, if you're gonna decide to get a different color than the black, just keep in mind, 
you have to start away from the sun because it may change the color. And I did contact Monas about it. They said that they like didn't get a lot of people messaging them about the problem, but they did send me basically like a storage it's like a suitcase cover. It's not gonna give me any UV protection. If you want to like keep your, you know, suitcase in pristine condition, you can put that cover on when you travel and it should protect it from scratches and, you know, marks. It's actually very easy to keep a mono suitcase scratch free. Like you can just use magic eraser and it's just gonna get rid of all the scratches. I don't really mind that. I, I think, you know, it has that patina. Like it looks like you had it for some time and I think it's cool. Like. I, I personally don't mind it, but Monos does sell that. But I don't think it offers any UV protection. If you decide to get a different color than, you know, just plain black, just store it away from the sun and you will be thanking me. And one more thing which I forgot to mention, Monos suitcase come with some pretty cool accessories. When I ordered them, I actually didn't know that they would come with those accessories. But first of all, they come with tag so you don't need to buy extra tags to keep on your luggage you get one tag per suitcase they also come with dust bags so if you want to store your luggage you just put it in that dust bag and then you can store it no problem and for other brands like you have to buy it separately so that's pretty cool and the third thing that mono suitcase come with are laundry bags so i think it comes like one suitcase comes with three different uh, different size laundry bags so you get a lot of different accessories and they are actually useful like i use all of them uh, they are very high quality so i was pretty impressed when i got it because i totally didn't expect it uh, so it makes the suitcase even like higher value than it is so in conclusion if i would be buying my suitcases again i would definitely go for monos it's just so much better quality i know it's more expensive and i know it's slightly heavier than cold pack but just the wheels and the handle Oh, it's, it's just so much more sturdy, so much more durable. And I have a feeling it's just gonna last me much longer than Callback suitcase. And I gotta say, I actually watched a Tara Michelle's video where she actually ripped off one of the wheels from her Callback suitcase. That was unfortunately after I bought my Callback suitcase. But if I would see that video before, I would probably not get Callback because it just shows that it's not the highest quality and like because it's a carry-on a suitcase I don't mind it as much like I take care of it but if I would have to like check in that suitcase I would be worried it would not come back in a great condition so if you want a sturdy high quality luggage just go for the monos and i know it's more expensive honestly it's worth it i looked at other brands like away and some higher quality uh, high-end suitcases that were much more expensive than monos i personally feel like monos is very high quality so if you are deciding between like cold pack away monos I would definitely go for Monos. I'm very happy with that purchase. Uh, you know, my husband says that he would just get the regular carry-on, not the Pro, because I was like, oh, get the Pro, you will fit your laptop there. He can't really fit his MacBook Pro in it when, you know, the suitcase is full. So he kind of regrets getting the Pro version because it was slightly more expensive and he can't really use that compartment. So if you are considering getting the regular carry-on or the carry-on pro, you're probably gonna be better off with just the regular carry-on, not the carry-on pro. Because if you're gonna fill out your suitcase, you're gonna have a hard time putting your MacBook to that pocket. So that's something to think about. I thought it would be a great future, but in reality, it doesn't really work as well as I thought it would. So yeah. If I'm gonna be repurchasing my carry-on, I will just go with the monos. Well, if you're considering different colors, the black is pretty solid. It doesn't really get discolored. The lighter colors, you can see scuffs and they get discolored easily. So again, something to consider, but also they are very unique and they look beautiful, so why not? You can just get a luggage cover to, you know, protect it from scratches and yeah if you care i honestly don't think it's that big of a deal if you thought this video was useful don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon in the next one bye bye